By the end of this video, you are going to know every single note on your guitar fretboard. Now we're not going to be using any complicated music theory or even writing anything down. We're going to be using the guitar to identify the different notes that we have in music. So go grab your guitar. It doesn't matter whether it's acoustic or electric, but get it tuned in standard tuning and let's start finding the notes on our fretboard. Okay, so first thing to mention, if you didn't already know, we only have seven different letter names for notes in music. Actually, we could say we've only got seven different notes. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T, and then we get back to Do. That eighth note, the second Do, is what we call our octave. Now, if we gave those letter names, we could call them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then that number eight would be another A. So every time we cross from A to A, do to do, that's what we call an octave in music. They're eight notes apart, do to do. So what's important about that for guitar? Well, basically, when we hit G, we're then going to go back to A. So we're going A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we can start on any of those notes. It doesn't matter which one we start on. But every time we hit the next letter that's the same, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, that's our octave. We always go straight from G to A in music. We don't have H, I, J or any of the rest of that. These notes are the white notes on the piano. If you can imagine a piano for a second, we have white keys and we have black keys. The A, B, C, D, E, F, G are the white keys on the piano. The black keys are what we call sharps and flats. Easiest way of thinking about those is as we go up the piano keyboard, as notes get higher, we call the black notes sharps, and as we come down the keyboard, as notes get lower, we call them flats. So F would go up to F sharp, G would go up to G sharp, A would go up to A sharp, which would go up to B. If we came down, B would go to B flat, to A, to A flat, to G, to G flat, and F. Right now it doesn't really matter why they're called sharps and flats. If you want to look into that a little bit more then check out some of my other videos where I talk more about sharps and flats but it's just something to accept. Just go with it. We have sharps and flats. Most of the time with guitar we're going to talk about them as sharps but it's useful for you to know that they can also be called flats. On the guitar we think of that as we're going up our fretboard that we're going up by the sharps and as we go down the fretboard we're going down with the flats. That's another way to be thinking about it. Now there are two notes in music that don't have a sharp. E and B are the two notes. So E and B would go straight to the next letter. E goes straight up to F, B goes straight up to C. If you imagine the piano keyboard again, there we get two black notes and then three black notes in little clusters and there's a gap between them. Those gaps are on the E and the B note. On the flip side of that, C and F do not have flat. So if you're coming down the neck and you're going from a C, the next note is going to be a B. Same goes with F, F goes straight to E. Otherwise, all other notes will have a sharp or a flat and they are the same thing. So if I was to play you a G sharp, it would be here. This is a G sharp. If I was to play you an A flat, it would be here. There is an A flat. G sharp, A flat. G sharp, A flat. And that's how easy it is. It's just which direction we're going in. Well, it's not quite that simple, but let's say that for now. So that being said, we now know all the different notes that we have in music. If we started at A, we would go A to A sharp to B, C to C sharp D, D sharp E, F to F sharp G to G sharp back to A. And that is our 12 different notes that we have within an octave if we're including every single semitone or half step or what we think on guitar as every single fret. Each fret on your guitar is going up one key on the piano keyboard. So if we're going from a G to a G sharp, it's one fret up. To an A, to an A sharp, to a B, each one of these is one fret. Now your guitar is laid out brilliantly. If you haven't noticed already, you've got dots, hopefully, on your guitar on the frets 3, 5, 7 and 9. You've also got a double dot at fret number 12. Now I just said that there are 12 semitones, 12 half steps between Do and Do. So your double dot, fret 12, is our octave point on every string. If I play my open E string and then play fret 12, that is an octave apart. Do, Do, do the same on the A. Do. Do. So the double dot is your octave. Every single note that you can play in music is on that fretboard from your open string to your double dot on every single string. We're going from E to E, so we're going to go up every single semitone, every single half step along the way. A to A, we're going to go up every single note 
every single half step along the way. Now, I just said that you also have dots on three, five, seven, and nine. We're gonna ignore nine for a second, and we're just gonna talk about the dots on three, five, and seven. These are taking us up those white notes of the piano, taking us up on our normal letter names. Starting on the E string, your first dot is a G. Now, if you can remember that, you can remember the rest of your guitar fretboard. So if you've got your guitar in front of you, play that note now, that is your G. The first dot on your bottom string, on your E string, or if you haven't got a dot there, it's fret number three, just count it up, one, two, three. If that one's G, then the next dot up is gonna go to A. And like I said at the beginning, in music, when we get to G, we go right back round to A again. So here's G. Going up to the next dot is gonna take us to an A. G, A, up to the next dot, that's gonna be your B. Now, if we move on to the next string, so it's just these first three dots, we're gonna move on to the A string, the fifth string, and we're gonna play the third fret on there. That is a C. So we've got G, A, B, C. Move up to the next one, can you guess what it's gonna be? Yes, of course, it's gonna be a D. Then we get our E. Let's move on to the next string, here's an F. Then we jump up, here's a G. So we've just moved across our octave G to G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We could carry on up from there to our A there. The frets in between these are our sharps and flats. So as I'm going up the neck on that bottom string, here's my G. Go up one fret, there's my G sharp. Here's my A, second dot. Up to the next fret is my A sharp. Up to the next dot, that's my B. Here's my C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. We've now just played every single semitone, every single fret, every single note that we need in music. If we were to come down that, we would call them flats. So G to G flat to F, E, remember F doesn't have a flat, E doesn't have a sharp. E flat, D, D flat, C. C doesn't have a flat, B doesn't have a sharp. So here's my B. B flat, A, A flat, and G. So already now we can start associating our dots with our notes. And this is the best way to learn the fretboard, is use your dots. They're not there by accident. They're there to help you navigate your fretboard. We start on G. And for guitar, a lot of songs are in the key of G, or they use the G chord. It's a really, really common note a really common chord for us to be playing. So if you can remember G, you can remember all the other notes. G is the first dot, carrying up from there. Only using the first three dots on each string. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, takes me back to G. Now the same thing is happening above the double dot. This is my octave point, and I have dots up here as well. I have a dot on fret 15, 17, and 19. These are in the same spaces as three, five, and seven. If we imagine that our double dot is our open string, we get two blank frets after our nut, before we get the first one. We get the same thing here. After my double dot, I get two blank frets again, and then I get my next dot. So if this is G, this is G as well. They're exactly the same thing. Our guitar fretboard starts again at the double dot. So these are my octaves. There's a G, here's a G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So these would be an octave higher than they are down here. Now each one of these notes, each one of these semitones, each one of these half steps is one fret on our guitar. So remembering that E and B do not have sharps, even if you don't remember that this is a G, you can still work out what the notes are. This is my E string, and hopefully you know your strings are E, A, D, G, B, and E. If you are completely new to guitar, then check out my beginning guitar series. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'll tell you everything you need to know to be able to play guitar, and I do cover this in that as well. So if this is all gobbledygook to you, check that out, and I hope that's gonna help you with your guitar playing. But I'm hoping that you already know your open strings and that this is your E string, A, D, G, B and E string at the top. As I'm coming up here, E doesn't have a sharp, so that's my E. E doesn't have a sharp, it goes straight to F. F does have a sharp, so that's gonna be the next one here. Then I get my G. G sharp takes me to an A. Now the way the guitar is tuned, this A is actually the next open string, so here would be A as well, same notes. So this is my A, this will be my A sharp. Same as fret number six. Fret number two on the A string is a B. Same as fret number seven on my E string. And then I get my C. B and E do not have a sharp. So if I was to say fret three on my A string is a C, 
that's going to be the same as fret number eight on my E string. That would then take me to this dot. Now fret number nine is your sharp dot. On your bottom E, it's a C sharp. On your A string, it's an F sharp. If this is an E, it would go straight to an F, and then we get our F sharp here. So we can think of fret number nine as our sharp fret when we're playing on these bottom two strings. Now, we only really need to be learning the fretboard on the bottom two strings because these are the strings where you're going to be playing bar chords and power chords. Most of the time when we're playing up on the higher strings, we're playing solos or we're playing tab. And it really doesn't matter too much what notes they are. Yes, we're going to talk about them, but it's not the end of the world. You need to know the fretboard on the bottom two strings so that you can associate a bar chord or a power chord quickly. But when you're on the higher strings, if you need to work out what note it is, you can take a second to actually work it out based on the tab that you're trying to play. So if this is my C sharp here on fret number nine, that's going to be the same as fret number four on my A string. Anything that's above fret five on any string, if I take away five from it, so for example, let's say fret number 10 here. If I need to work out what note that is, 10 minus five is five, that's gonna be here. And like we just said, C is the first dot on the A string. So the next dot up, A, B, C, D will be a D. So this will be the same note as my fret 10 on the bottom string. That gives me a D sharp comes next. And then fret 12 will be an E. If I wasn't sure about that, although fret 12 is my octave, so it's always going to be the same as my open string, I could say to myself, 12 minus 5 is 7. C, A, B, C, D, E is going to be the same note as this note here. And this works on all of your strings across the fretboard. So let's say, for example, we wanted to work out where this E note was on our next string up, the D string. This is my E, seven minus five is two, so it's gonna be fret number two on my D string. Same note on there as well. If I went up from my E, E, E doesn't have a sharp, F comes next, then I get F sharp. So this is my next dot here, fret nine. Nine minus five is four, so it's gonna be the same fret here on the D string, fret four. And that's the way the guitar works. Now, there's only one exception to this, and that is the G string. The G string and the B string are one fret closer to each other than all the other strings. We call the interval between the other strings perfect fourths. Between the G and the B string, they're a third. It's a major third apart. Again, that's not really massively important for learning your fretboard. It's just a good thing to know. The thing that is important is that your G string and B string are closer together. When we move between all the other strings, they're five frets apart. When we move between the G and the B string, it's only four frets apart. So as I come up my G string, that's my third string. There's my G. G has a sharp, so that's going to be fret number one, G sharp. Up to fret number two, that's an A. Then I get an A sharp. And then I get my B. Now that is the same note as my open B string. Fret five on the G string is actually a C. Moving from my B string to my top E string is the same as all the other ones. So B would go to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and there's my top E string. So the main trick here is remembering that E and B do not have sharps. If you can get that in your head, then you can always work out what note you're playing. But if we want to be able to move around our fretboard a little bit quicker, we want to start to think about our octaves. Now, if you've been playing guitar for a while, you might have already learnt power chords or bar chords. With the power chord shape, we are playing the first note, the do, the fifth note, the so, and then the octave note, the high do. This note and this note are an octave apart. We don't really care about the middle one right now, but if I go from here to here, that is my octave my index finger to my pinky, or my index finger to my barred note on my third finger if you do your power chords like this. If you haven't done power chords or bar chords yet, then the way to remember this is we skip a string and a fret. So wherever I put my first finger, let's say I'm just gonna put it on a random note, I'm gonna put it here. Now, I know that that's a B because this is G, A, B. But if I want the octave up, all I need to do is skip over the next string, which is the A string here, the fifth string, and skip up a fret, which will take me to my next dot, which would be here. These two are gonna be an octave apart. So now that I know that this is a B, I can carry on up from there. B, C, C sharp, D. And that takes me to my octave of my D string, which means that that has worked. I can do this anywhere on the guitar. If I put my index finger here on fret four, G, to A, so this is either a G sharp or an A flat. I skip a string and a fret, so it's one string and one fret up from my index finger. 
this will be my G sharp or A flat octave. From there I can carry on up. G sharp, A flat, doesn't really matter which one, there's my A then. A sharp, B. B doesn't have a sharp, so this is a C. And again, now we get our C sharp and we hit our D octave at fret 12. Same note, an octave apart. Do, do, do. I hope this is making sense. And this works all over the guitar. The only thing we need to be aware of is when we cross that G, B boundary. When we cross over the G string, so for example, if I was trying to do this from the D string, then it's not gonna be an octave if I go from here to here. It's one fret too low because of the way the G and the B string are tuned. What I need to be doing when I'm working from the D to the B string or the G to the B string is adding on an extra fret. And it's just because of the way the guitar's tuned. Don't worry too much about that right now. It's just something to remember that we have a little bit of a difference between our second and third string. So if I need my octave from this note here, I'm on the D string. So the first fret is an F. G, A, B, C, D, E, F. F, G, A. I think it was on that one. Yes. If I want to find that octave, then I need to skip a string as normal, but I'm going to go up two frets rather than one. So if this is an A, then this is an A. A, A sharp or B flat. There's my B on my octave point, double dot again. Open B string, double dot. The G string to the E string, so the third string to the first string, does exactly the same thing. So as I'm gonna move from here, this note here, if I worked it out, would be a D. And if I wanna find that octave, I'm gonna go over the string again, but I'm gonna add on an extra fret so that I have that octave point. Your bottom four strings, so the G string, D string, A string, and E string, work really, really easily together. The top two strings, you just gotta remember that you're gonna be adding on that fret. Now, like I said, learning the fretboard on the top four strings isn't that important, mainly because when we're gonna be moving around, we're gonna be using bar chords or we're gonna be using power chords. And we only do those on the bottom two strings. The other thing to remember is that your E string on the top and your E string on the bottom are exactly the same. So if I'm going up this E string, the dots are G, A, and B, they're gonna be exactly the same on the top E string. This is a G, this is an A, and this is a B. So if you were to do your sort of F shape, this kind of bar chord where we're gonna come straight down, first finger barring across the top two strings, second finger down, and then third finger, and I move that up the neck, I'm following what's on the top string. This is an F, G, A, B. So we get a C and a D. So we've got the two main ways of doing our bar chords. We've got our full bar chord. Like this, but we can also do that kind of half bar chord where we're playing just the top bit. We lose that weight from the bottom. And because I'm following my first finger, which is exactly the same as the bottom E string, I already know those frets. They're just two octaves higher than they were down on the bottom string. And there we have it. That is all you need to know really about your fretboard. As we go up each fret, we're going up one key on the piano keyboard, or what we call a semitone, or in some countries, a half step. As we move through our notes, we just need to remember that E and B do not have sharps, otherwise all the other notes do have sharps. And the great thing about guitar is that the dots on our bottom three strings are just taking us up our main notes. If you remember that we start on G, we're then gonna go straight up from there, and in music from G, we go back to A. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. Last little reminder is that is exactly the same when you get above your double dot. So these dots are the same as what you're doing down here. It's that octave apart. And there you go, that is how your guitar net works. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me down in the comments, or I've set up a Facebook group specifically to help you with your learning. It's called Your Music Questions Answered by Bertie. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you head over there, join the group, make sure you answer the questions so I know you're not a bot or a spammer or anything, but answer the questions, join the group, and over there you can upload videos, photos, ask me any questions you want, and I can give you personalized feedback on what you're doing with your playing. If you're completely new to guitar, then consider checking out my beginner guitar course. Like I said, that takes you from playing with one finger all the way through power chords, bar chords, open chords, solos, scales, tab, chord charts, even talking about effects pedals and amp settings. 
everything you need to know to be able to play your guitar. I'll put a link to that playlist in the description as well. If you've been playing a while, then have a look at the titles and see whereabouts your level is, and you can jump in at any lesson and just finish off the course from there. But that is how the guitar fretboard works. Hopefully that makes sense, and you can now start to navigate around the fretboard a little bit easier. Remember, use the dots. They're there to help you. They're not there by accident. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. And I look forward to seeing you for another lesson very soon.